For quite some time now, Ron Barron, the CEO of Barron Funds, built his empire, hailing him a title as one of the most successful long-term investors. A staggering $100 million was raised to kickstart Barron Funds back in 1982. Fast forward to the present, Ron manages an estimate of $30 billion with his own net worth running up to $2.9 billion. What makes Ron Barron so special is that his Barron Funds are segregated in smaller ones, usually divided by market cap, sector, and or interests. His holdings make a total of 356 stocks that value at $32.6 billion, with only 3% as his turnover rate. In this video, we will be diving into the top 8 holdings of this Barron Billionaire's portfolio and find out if these investments are as interesting as they sound. Welcome to Financial Market TV. If you're new to the channel and enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, please don't hesitate to share your comments down below and give this video a like. Let's get started. To start off the list, Ron Barron's largest holding of over 7.3 million shares belongs to Tesla. Considering Barron's optimistic perspective on the famed company, back in October 2020, during an interview for CNBC, Barron explained how he believes Tesla stocks still have potential for a five times upside, despite being 400%. It is possible since Tesla's pace in the stocks have not exactly stopped accelerating. With Berlin, Shanghai, and Texas on the way, it won't be long until Tesla begins to substantially increase their production. In addition, their innovative battery technology and their ability to cut down costs at an exceptional rate is nothing like we've seen before in this current landscape. This is only one of the many things that contribute to Tesla's budding possibilities, but it comes with a price. Tesla is already up almost 500% in one year, making it seem undervalued in such a short-term period. Recently, they also got added into the S&P 500, which pushed their valuation even higher. However, if you're looking for something a little long-term when it comes to the growth of a company, it may be worth taking a second look into. Since Tesla has a projected sales growth of 25.5% in 2020 and 45.3% in 2021. Let's move on to an all-in-one commercial estate platform that offers comprehensive data for real estate agents, CoStar. They manage buying, selling, leasing, and more. This would be extremely beneficial for real estate agents as you get access to a big range of services such as comparing leases, asking qualified professionals for advice, and monitoring the activity of local competition. CoStar provides their clients with an exceptional analysis of over 6 million properties all over the world. Currently, CoStar is trading at a premium with a P.E. ratio of 1 to 3, a market cap of over 36 billion and an EPS of 7.4, in which they are up over by 40%. Over the past few months, CoStar has estimated 17.7% growth in 2020 and a projected 15.9% in 2021. They also have a price-to-sales ratio of 16.76, which is a high valuation in the market. Number three on Barron's portfolio is IDEX, a company with a market stock amounting to over $38 billion. This biotech company focuses primarily on the well-being of pets, but also on people and livestock. In 2019, pet healthcare made up of 87% of IDEX's revenue. In this sector, they provide tech-based products for veterinarians in order for them to examine and diagnose pets more efficiently. The main reason why IDEX margins are able to grow continuously is because of its profitable business model with diagnostic testing, which in fact is responsible for 90% of their sales. Basically, despite the installation of diagnostic testing machines profiting very little, it comes with a need for single-use disposables like testing strips for the use of the machine thus creating recurring revenue streams. So if you're looking to invest in a business that can guarantee long-term profitability with a fast-paced market, IDEX Laboratories may be the perfect company to look into. However, like a lot of companies in the current market, IDEX is valued very high with a P.E. ratio of 79. Their projected growth rate for 2020 is 10.5% and will decrease a little bit in 2021 to 10.3%. They also have a pricey sales ratio of 15.2. Next up, fancy a vacation? We have Vail Resorts, a company that owns a variety of mountain resorts in Colorado, Lake Tahoe, Wisconsin, British Columbia, and Australia. According to their website, the top four most visited resorts in the U.S. belong to them. Their business models are well-built and they are able to manage not only the ski resort but other services bordering it as well. 
Vail Resorts has secured itself as a major competitor in the industry. However, their profitability and sustainability will depend on the demand for their services. In this case, travel. We see how this is greatly affected during the current pandemic. Vail Resorts was forced to suspend its seven-year operation due to the closing of several resorts during the lockdowns. However, the enterprise has bounced back fairly and is now back in swing as investors begin to foresee things going back to normal. This contributed to their P.E. ratio of 113, although this may seem misleading due to low earnings in the present time. Analysis predict them to lose as much as 10% of their growth in 2020, but also rise back with an estimated growth of 38.3%. They also have a price-to-sales ratio of 5.39%. Let's jump from vacations to numbers. We have FactSet a company that provides financial data and analytics to over 125,000 investment analysts globally. These investors range from Wall Street corporations such as Motley Fool to investment bankers up to individual investors. FactSet also has a healthy number of competitors including Bloomberg, Morningstar, and S&P Global. Currently, they have a PDE ratio of 34 which is a lot smaller than the holdings mentioned so far in Ron Barron's portfolio. In 2019, FactSet claimed to have a 39 consecutive year of revenue growth, 23 years of adjusted EPS growth, and a 95% client retention rate. FactSet is projected to increase 5.6% this year from 4.8% in 2020. They have a price to sales ratio of 8.02. It's time to switch it up in the entertainment business, including Penn National Gaming, a casino and horse racing business with 43 locations in the US and Canada primarily under the brand name Hollywood Casino. Plus, they offer wagering online. The competition is thriving in this market, with corporations like MGM, Wind Resorts, and others. However, the market for gambling is estimated to be at $119 billion in 2022, so the potential for growth is not that out of reach. Penn bought 36% of Barstool Sports for $450 million. At first, Penn was hit pretty hard by the pandemic, but they were able to beat estimates by the third quarter, giving them a chance of recovery once things shift back to normal. They're projected to lose 30% of revenue in 2020, but gain around 33.9% in 2021. Additionally, their price-to-sales ratio is small, amounting to only 2.08. Next up, MSCI. This is short for Morgan Stanley Capital International an investment firm that serves institutional investors in hedge funds through performance analytics, but primarily in their stock indexes. These indexes are built to parallel the performance of certain sectors, geographical regions, or markets. An example of this would be an index that holds only companies with large-scale market caps and with good economic scene. This means that if investors see potential in a certain market for an increase, Investing in something that mirrors that specific market's movement would become a great opportunity. MSCI has a market cap of over $32 billion in terms of projected growth. MSCI was also projected to grow 8.6% in 2020 and 10.2% by 2021. They have a price-to-sales ratio of 19.9, which is pretty high. Now we have a more techie addition to the group, ANSYS. ANSYS produces computer software that stimulates engineering models machines, electronics, and other structures. They're also responsible for testing out various factors like toughness, elasticity, and others. This is mainly used by medium to large scale companies. Ansys has started their price of $30,000 to license their products with clients such as retail, manufacturing, and technical sectors. Overall, its revenue continues each year with a double digit revenue growth since 2016, except for 2020 where it decreased to 6.83%. The stock currently trades at PDE at 73, which may be misleading due to the impact of the pandemic. However, they are up at 22% in the last months of 2020. They have projected growth rate of 6.7% that year and continue to grow at 12% in 2021. Their price to sales ratio is currently at 18.52. And there we have it, the top 8 holdings of Ron Barron. You might have learned a thing or two to kick off your first step to becoming a billionaire. Thanks for watching the whole video. Again, if you're new and like this type of content, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also, click on the notification bell to get updated on our weekly uploads. See you in the next video.